Hey, this is Rosemary here. So a few days ago, I posted in general on Twitch chat that um, the, the Atlas bosses like Seer and Exarch and Co. weren't knockback immune, which meant knockback and interrupt effects like from Seismic Cry and Debian Sturge just stops them mid-animation so you could do things like skip Seer and Exarch ball phase. Uh, it took about a day for the Gauntlet rules to get updated to ban this and any other things that let you skip boss mechanics. About two days for GDE to just hotfix it overall by making the bosses knockback immune as they should be in the first place. So given this is the third time I've caused a hotfix patch to come out pretty quick, uh, previously the infinite rat specters that let you cause crashes and auras with no reservation costs, uh, let's make it four. So I lost both my tricks and gauntlets, decided to do some looking for a new build, decided to test weapon switching because that's always just been real fucky. Uh, so Wintrel, for example, you can cast it, remove it, you lose it. Stick in this socket, cast it, weapon switch, you lose it. Now, first socket here, first socket here, because first three sockets correspond to the first three sockets here. I can start channeling it, weapon switch, and it still stays there. Now, this link has GMP, this one has nothing. So I start channeling it, worm, one projectile at a time, weapon switch, five projectiles at a time, because GMP. Now, you can't actually weapon switch in the middle of channeling anything, but you're not channeling things if you have totem to channel them for you. So, totem. Yep. Now weapon switch. Inkoe instead of conk effect. So you can switch mid-channel. Yep. Yeah, that, that's pretty exploited. You can do things like fast cast and confuse channeling on one setup. And then switch to whatever your damage is on the other one once you're already primed and everything. There's more reasons, there's more things this works with as well. So this is Arcanus brand with Enfeeble, and now with Temp Chains, and you can get the one brand doing two sets of skills. You can't see the ground effect just because the way my hideout is, but yeah, this is really buggy. So there's more cases for it. Uh, anything that's like a persistent creation of yours. So minions also do this. If you weapon switch, they uh, get the new links when you switch, even though the minions stay out. But the traps and mines for this are pretty exploitable. So when you throw a trap, uh, it will stay on the ground, but you can weapon switch before it detonates, and then it will have its new links when it's detonated. Now, if you throw them with like plus trap, multi trap, etc., it will just destroy the mines if you don't have the same setup on the other side, because things that throw traps and mines just they, they don't let you do this, GG specifically bug fix this. Uh, but high impact mine and blast chain mine don't have this going on. So this is blast chain mine. Summon some worms. No aura. This is high impact mine. Aura. Weapon switch. Still detonate. So you can throw mines to get the 2% increased damage AOE from high impact mine, then you weapon switch before you detonate, and you get blast chain mine probably the 5% more damage. I haven't explicitly confirmed this because I haven't gone into PvP and tested anything, and like there's just weird stuff around sometimes your weapon switch and it will show the aura applying from high impact mine when you switch onto high impact mines with the enemies. It's just really inconsistent, I don't know clue how it's working. Um, but just everything else is already pretty just messed up as is. But like maybe blast chain mine and high impact mine you get the benefits from both if you weapon switch so yeah here comes another hotfix patch i guess